This bread might be hard, but this recipe isn't. With just a little whisking, some soaking, a moment of melting, we're pan frying, pan perdu. Translation, lost bread, the goal, a fantastic breakfast idea that needs to find its way to your weekend breakfast table tout suite. That's like right away. So we think the French have truly perfected this superior, easy to make breakfast idea where we're taking leftover bread and combining it with on-hand ingredients like eggs, milk, cream, sugar, brown sugar, salt, vanilla, ground cinnamon, and then, ta-da, butter. I'm gonna show you how we make pan perdu. It's a really chilled recipe, um, but there are four things we want you to keep in mind when you go to recreate this at home like a pro. Number one, all about the bread, we're using baguette or brioche, a French bread with a bit of texture. For best results, that bread needs to be past its prime. We actually want you to use stale bread. Let's take it a step further. We're gonna put the bread out onto our counter, uncovered the night before. When you head to Weekend at the Cottage to reference the full recipe, you'll notice it was written using four pieces of bread to serve two people. But let's say you've got a crowd, you can add that number of slices to eight, just double the custard part of the recipe, and you'll be able to serve everyone. I'm just trying to keep everybody happy. On to key element number two, we're making a custard, where we're taking two eggs at room temperature, three quarters of a cup of whole milk, plus a quarter cup of 35% cream. Add a tablespoon of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and then a pinch of kosher salt. This custard mixture gives this dish so much flavor. Let's whisk those ingredients together, making sure the sugar and salt are completely dissolved, and then we're spilling it into a shallow dish. We found a casserole dish works best. Now remember how we had you leave the bread on the counter overnight? Here's why. We're taking our slices of stale bread. For this story, I used brioche, and we're placing them into the dish. They act kind of like sponges. They're soaking up that custard, leave them be for five minutes, then give them a flip and leave them to soak for an additional five minutes. Now it's time to cook our pan perdu, and our third key moment is about pan frying in butter. A large skillet goes on stovetop, moderate heat, and when it comes to temperature, add one or two tablespoons of butter, depending on whether you're cooking two or four pieces of bread. You have gotta love that sizzle. Now we're adding the pieces of custard soaked bread and we leave them to pan fry undisturbed for three minutes. This slow pan fry will cook that custard center perfectly. The moderate heat gets the centers of the bread soft and fluffy. Now it's time to flip our bread. Here's our final pro tip. We are going for crispy. Flipping the bread, you can now see the results of pan frying. It's perfectly golden, but we're gonna do a little something something to crisp up the surround. Let's combine one tablespoon of brown sugar with half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, stir them together, then sprinkle some onto the bread. Now we're gonna flip our bread again so that that sugar spice mix hits the pan and caramelizes. Take a bit more of that cinnamon sugar mix and sprinkle it onto the bread. Wait two minutes, flip, pan fry, crisp, caramelize for two minutes more. Now sit up everybody, breakfast is served. Transfer your pan perdu onto warm breakfast plates. You can serve it with a dollop of a favorite jam, a dusting of icing sugar, or give this classic French breakfast some Canadian love, pure maple syrup. That's how I always have it. Pan perdu is so easy on the eyes, it's even easier on the tummy. Before I dig in, just a reminder, full recipe is up at weekendatthecottage.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and why not take a picture of your lost bread when you make it, post it using hashtag weekendatthecottage on your favorite socials. Pan perdu, lost bread. Mmm, soft center, crispy, mmm. C'est magnifique, pretty awesome, mm, delish.